All right then, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Crypto Space. In today's video, we are going to cover Caspa, its recent price action, a couple of interesting tweets and news for Caspa, as well as a couple of interesting altcoin charts too. So, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and a quick note that this video isn't a financial advice. So without any further ado, let's hop into Caspa itself. As we can see over here on CoinGecko, Caspa is currently trading at 15 cents of a dollar and is currently experiencing a short leg up of 5.5%. So that is obviously a little bit more bullish than the recent pullback and that is a good because we are recovering. Let's have a look at market cap. Market cap is sitting at 3.5 billion USD and 24 hour trading volume is sitting at 90 million USD. And now let's have a look at this thing over here. What if somebody comes up with a digital currency a year from now, two years from now, that is so much better than Bitcoin? It does everything Bitcoin does better, faster, cheaper. And everybody wants that new one, and now nobody wants Bitcoin. So it's worthless, right? Nobody wants it anymore because somebody came up with a better mousetrap. So just because they were first, so what if somebody... All right, so as we can see over here, not only retail investors, but apparently institutions are eyeing Caspa as well. And that's obviously something good. And now don't get me wrong. I'm not thinking that Caspa is going to be above Bitcoin. Obviously, BTC is always going to stay BTC, especially now with ETFs approval. However, Caspa definitely deserves that top 10 ranking on market cap. But all right, let's have a look over here. So as we can see, if we are going to compare Caspa to BTC, Caspa is currently trading at roughly 17 cents of a dollar. But if we are going to look back to 2010, we can clearly see that Bitcoin used to cost 17 cents of a dollar as well. So of course, I'm not saying that Caspa is going to cost 10 thousands of dollars like BTC, but that could be just a beginning for Caspa. And now, let's check this out if we are going to look at 2023 as we can see over here after that huge push upwards we had a major consolidation over here for caspa in last year right and if we are going to look over here in 2024 we have this huge pump over here and we have much more bigger consolidation over here for caspa so the question is are we going to see that parabola in coming weeks and if we are going to look from the standpoint of millionaires for Caspar, we can clearly see that Caspar has already printed 460 millionaires. So the question is, are you going to be Caspar millionaire? And now a little bit of positive news for Caspa. We've got a new trading pair over here, Caspa Bitcoin on KuCoin. And I know this is not something that we are all waiting for, which is obviously top tier exchanges, listings like Binance and Coinbase, but obviously that is going to come, I do believe, in coming months. And now let's have a look at this over here. We see that adoption coming for Caspa and overall for crypto as well, right? So if we are going to travel, let's say, and we would like to book a Traveler from, with Traveler.com, we can now pay with caspa so that's obviously very bullish because that adoption is coming and now let's have a look at some numbers so the first things first as we can see over here the hash rate ever since beginning of the month is constantly growing of course we got some dips over here but if we are going to look at the zoomed out chart for hash rate we can clearly see that network is being more and more secure that exponential growth is here so that is very good to see and now let's have a look at some numbers again if we are going to look at current reward that's 123 and the next reward is going to be 117 caspa and the next reduction is scheduled in 28 days and now let's finally have a look at the chart itself. So as we can see over here on the hourly time frame, Caspa touched that level of support over here at 15 cents of a dollar as I was expecting and was letting you know in my previous update. And it also dipped below that support level. So that was a very beautiful opportunity to scoop up some more Caspa, right? But we quickly gained momentum towards the upside. And now looks like we are being pushed down from that resistance level from that is coming from that triangle model over here and we are being pushed down again to retest that as a support over here so i do believe that we are going to see that price bouncing back but of course it all depends on what btc is doing as well so if we are going to look at 
daily time frame so as we can see over here first things first right let's uh, compare the previous price action for a uh, caspa as we can see over here we had this triangle model over here and we saw new all-time highs right and now we have that sideways consolidation over here and sideways boring price action obviously right so if we are going to look at uh, this and this triangle that's pretty much no brainer to me right that's just a boring price action with opportunities being printed for scooping up some more caspa on a discount before a bigger prices are going to kick in. So let's have a look at the standpoint of RSI, right? With the previous pump, we've reached that level of 87 overbought area. And then after that, we saw a consolidation over here, right? It just exactly like with new all time highs, right? And now most likely we are going to see the similar action over here, right? We've got this consolidation, but looks like we are heading towards oversold area and we've experienced that push back towards the upside above that support level sorry resistance level right so now if we are going to look at MACD as well that it looks like we are going to see a little bit of more downside potentially and sooner or later we are going to flip into bullish momentum that is going to lead us over here into these high levels of RSI so that's obviously going to be a new all-time high and now let's have a look at the standpoint of weekly as we can see over here everything goes according to the plan every single time caspa is experiencing a pullback and it's either touching or almost touching that trend line that also serves as a major support level over here for caspa it's bouncing back and is experiencing new all-time highs so as we can see over here that was the closest when we have touched on a weekly that a trend line over here but we never broke below that so as i'm saying everything goes according to the plan and now i would be really worried about that short pullback and now let's come back to the daily so as we can see over here rsi is currently almost an oversold area right so if we are going to let's say measure the percentage in the way of reaching the previous highs for rsi we could expect around 60 percent of a pump anything between 60 and if I'm going to measure it with the previous RSI levels, anything between 60 and 80% pump. So let's have a look at potential targets over here for Caspa. So the first thing we are going to draw 60%. So that could be around 25 cents of a dollar. So as I was saying in my previous updates, but now let's have a look at 80% pump from where we are at now before obviously the push back so that will be around 28 potentially even 30 cents of a dollar so i do believe that is going to happen sooner or later and by the way if you are interested in keeping your caspa safe outside of exchanges on which anything might happen make sure that you check out tangent wallet tangent wallet is a cold storage wallet for cryptocurrencies like caspa bitcoin solana and much more you can check on their website if there is a support with your crypto tangent has a lot of safety features such as biometric security access code protection ip68 rating which means that tangent cards are waterproof and can survive in extreme weather conditions on top of that Tangem chip is made by Samsung and it passed audit by two big Swiss companies which makes Tangem secure as bank vault, which is pretty safe if you ask me. You can also manage your crypto in the Tangem app with the option to buy, swap and sell your crypto. You can purchase two or three cards depending on your liking and personal needs. I do personally have two cards which I'm very happy with. As a Swiss based company with a 25 year warranty, Tangem is definitely a better option than exchanges. You know what they say, not your keys, not your crypto. You can get 10% off with my discount code. The link is in the description down below. And now, if we are going to look at what BTC is doing, BTC is basically touching, already touched its previous all-time highs and it printed 69,100 USD. But my point is that BTC has already touched its previous all-time highs. But if we are going to look at altcoins, for example, altcoins obviously are lagging behind. So let's first of all have a look at the bull cycle in 2015, 2016. As we can see over here, once we had that first breakout, that led us to the second breakout, a little bit of concentration consolidation and then after that we saw a huge parabola for alts just like in 2020 2021 right we had the first breakout then second breakout and we had a parabola right so as we can see over here we have experienced obviously that first breakout but we are still anticipating that second breakout for alts so my point is that alts still haven't reached that previous all-time highs over here which means that obviously we are going to see caspa and many other projects that you guys have invested in still consolidating or going sideways before we are going to experience 
experienced that second breakout and obviously after that huge parabola and now if we are going to look at perspective of gains right previously altcoins saw 14x from its previous all-time highs and as we can see over here if we are going to be conservative we are going to see around 7x so that is going to be around four trillion dollars and now as we can see over here that is more clear this is where we are at with our alts right so obviously we still do have a lot of time to go for our alts ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching that quick caspa update i hope that you have enjoyed it and i wish you having a great day or evening wherever you are in the world peace and love crypto